All right, welcome back to News 9. If you've got questions about cooking, this is your chance to ask Sassy. I am so excited. It. Something smells amazing over there, <laughs> Sassy me. Mama. Live in studio with us, and we are smelling something that you're cooking that has to do with St. Patty's Day. Yeah. Yes, it is beer bread, and I have tried to use everything as much Irish as I can, except for the hot fudge that was left over That's from Monday. Fine. Fine. <laughs> there we go. Um, and so we have got all kinds of great things from Ireland. Now, this beer bread is so simple to make. And what I love about it is actually one of the first kind of breads I learned to make. Oh, wow. Or not, okay. Really. It is so simple because basically the carbonation in the beer okay. mm -hmm. is going to give it its rise. It so only, no yeast. there's no real yeast. It only has one egg in it. So there's not a lot of leavening and there's baking powder in it that also makes it rise. Mm -hmm. It is so yummy. But if you don't like the taste of beer, never fear. <laughs> I'm a poet, sorry. You can. <laughs> Didn't know it. Yeah. Um, you can also use ginger ale. Okay. You could use seltzer water, like a Topo Chico. Do you actually taste the flavor of any of these in the there? The beer you can. Like, since this is an Irish beer or mm -hmm. you're using a stout beer, something that has got a strong multi flavor, flavor you're going to get that beer flavor. Okay. Otherwise, just go ahead and use. Actually, a, a tip I, I did years ago, if you will add. Um, ginger ale or Topo Chico to pancake mix and make them rise higher. Oh, They're fluffier. I love oh, that. Okay. Isn't that a trick? So what we're going to do, this is loaded. So we start with three cups of all-purpose oh flour. Okay. We're going to add in one egg. In here I have baking powder. I make it a little spicy. If you don't want to make it spicy, just keep it out. So I've got chili powder. I've mm. got a little bit of paprika and a little bit of sugar. Okay. Mm. I have bacon. Oh, uh, mm. now we're bacon. talking. Now yeah. we're starting we with yes. loaded yes. Here and bacon. <laughs> I don't do anything without bacon. We are bacon and bread. Are you? Like, are you joking? It's a love affair. We're in it heaven really over is. here. So I'm going to put a half a stick of butter in there. Okay. I'm and then eat. I've cubed up. This Some is what? Irish cheddar cheese. Yeah. Taste okay. this. Yeah. It is no, so it yummy. Oh gosh. There you go, Mama. Well, baby. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good. Isn't that yummy? Mm -hmm. yes. Oh, it's like sharp kind it's of. It's sharp. And the sharper it is, the better it's gonna taste in a bread because you want it to <laughs> kind of stand out. Then we're gonna slather this here in a minute to taste with some Irish butter. If you've never had Irish butter, I'm just gonna tell you it's life changing. Okay. Isn't it's, it? It is. I use Irish butter for everything. Put it on steak and everything because it has a really oh. strong flavor. Mm -hmm. It is so good. I say I, my husband gets it, but yeah. yes. Use the whole, <laughs> I'm whole using beer. one Way to go, Tyler. whole like 11, Point two ounce thing of beer. We don't want to harp on it. Don't no. want to harp on no. that. Too much. But that's how you Not do it right much. there. And that's an Irish beer. It's a lager. It's lager or whatever. It's going to be stronger. Can't get in trouble. Could nope. you, you, you said you could work. use a darker beer like a Guinness <laughs> or something. You could right? absolutely get darker and darker with your beer on that. And you can also, like I said, don't even have to. You just use something with carbonation. You're mm -hmm. going to, the reason this is like a beginner 101 bread recipe is you don't even have to use a hand mixer, yeah. anything. You're it's something you and your in. kids You're can do. You're not putting the towel over it and waiting for two or four no. or ten hours and no. letting and it rise. Nope. You're going to preheat your oven to 375 degrees. Okay. And then what I do... Here, I'm going to pass it down. you passing it down. Let's yeah, I'm going to butter it. Take one down, pass it around. You're going to put it in a You're butter. all over the beer stuff, the songs, everything. I mean, she's got it going It's going to be so good, we might even have to do a little Celtic dance. Oh, it's cold. Not me. I I've already done that today. No. I can hear Colby. You approved. only get a little tiny oh. bite because okay. the rest is mine. That's a nibble. Fine. That is so good. Isn't it? It's so yummy. It's delicious. And it's so good to serve like with steaks. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. With a little blue cheese on top and a this little so pepper crusted good. steak. Stop it. <laughs> Look at the this pregnant woman. Oh just made us an entire oh. meal out of it. It's so, so yummy to make. Oh, a close up? The loaf, mm -hmm. the loaf is not leaving here. Mm -hmm. The loaf is not it's leaving. Staying. I'm sure everyone will want it. But uh, it Bacon. is a really mm. fun, easy way to make bread mm -hmm. simple. You could also make it in a cast iron skillet. Mm -hmm. So it'd be oh, like man. kind of like a cornbread. Corn bread. Corn bread. Yes. Tell me that wouldn't be delicious and then we can sit around and watch the weather. Uh, <laughs> later or if you're day. a man, you're watching basketball. That's, That's right. right. Prop That's your right. feet up. Be mm -hmm. ready. Bacon, Storm trackers are geared up. Bacon, beer, basketball, bread. beer. And go. bread. You love and bread. <laughs>